Hello, and welcome to my dining room. Uh, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make easy, cheesy snowman bread. Uh, so I'm going to show you like a couple different ways to make it. One of them is where we make our own dough, we get everything together. Um, they're basically pizza, but look like snowmen. So they're super fun. I love pizza, because um, who doesn't? Um, so we're gonna do one where we make our own dough. Uh, you can also sub it with um, some little English muffins, um, or you can buy pre-made dough from the store as well, like the Pillsbury rolls. So those ones are also really good. Um, but this pizza dough recipe that I have here um, is really easy. So let's start with that, because it takes the most amount of time. It needs like three hours to rest. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna meet back here with the ingredients, um, with my hair tied back, um, and with a nice clean working surface. So I'll see you then. So we're back. So here I have everything that we need. Uh, we got flour, salt, uh, active dry yeast, honey, warm water, a bowl, measuring cups, and a spoon. Um, if you have a stand mixer, and if you're allowed to use it, you can also use that as well. Um, I don't have one, and I also just prefer using a good old bowl and spoon. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, if you saw any of our videos from the summer, you'll recognize this flour container from our mug recipes. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that, go watch it. Um, there'll be like link down below or something for you to watch. So the first step is we're gonna measure out three fourths of a cup of warm water. And it needs to be warm so that way it can activate the yeast and then we can have nice fluffy dough. and the honey. So yeast activates when there's warm water and sugar. Um, so we're going to use honey for this, but if you don't want to use honey, you can also use a white sugar. I just prefer honey. Uh, so I need one teaspoon of honey. So honey. Okay, so I'm just stirring the spoon around so the honey gets nice and incorporated and melted into the water. I'm also struggling a little more than I should be. Okay. And then I need one fourth of a teaspoon of dry yeast. So that's not a lot of yeast at all. Um, this recipe makes uh, pizza for two. Uh, so it should, in theory, make four small pizzas or one really big snowman. Cool. So now that I have that in here, I'll show you. This is just all sitting on top. I don't know if you can see. There. Um, so we're gonna put this to the side for five minutes so that way it can bloom and foam up. Five minutes are up. So now I'm gonna add the salt and the flour to this. We're gonna need half a teaspoon of salt, I think. Yes, half a teaspoon of salt and one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So if you see me looking over here, you can definitely see my laptop. I don't know why I'm explaining myself, but my laptop's over here, that's why I keep looking. Half a teaspoon. That sounds like a lot. And then one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So I'm not gonna add it in all at once just to make the e mixing easier. see how it goes and if it doesn't work don't listen to me half cup more or less i can already 
already tell that halfway through this, I'm gonna have to take the spoon out and knead with my hands, but that's okay. Um, when you do that, just make sure that your hands are clean and make sure whatever surface you're working on is also clean. And we're gonna knead the dough for five minutes. And that seems like a really long time when you're kneading dough. Okay, so now my dough looks like this and it's at the point where the spoon's not really doing much. So I'm gonna take the dough over itself and I'm gonna press in kind of thing. So just like repeat, repeatedly folding it in on itself to get it nice and smooth. And we wanna make sure that all of like the lumps are out of it and that it's like the same texture and consistency all the way around. are worked out of it so it's now just like a nice smooth dough what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer it to a clean well-oiled bowl so not this one I'm gonna get a new bowl I'm gonna clean off my hands I'm gonna oil it I'm gonna make sure that there's oil everywhere so that way when it's sitting and resting for an hour um, it won't form like an icky crust so I'll be right back with a well-oiled bowl okay so I grabbed a clean bowl and I just put olive oil in it because um, that's my oil of choice. You can also use vegetable oil, like any neutral oil, even like coconut oil maybe. Actually, don't quote me on that. I don't know if you can use coconut oil. Um, but I like olive oil. So I'm going to take the dough. Oh, it's so sticky. There. Plop it in the bowl and I'm just going to flip the dough around um, to make sure that oil is on every single surface just like that, well coated. I might have put too much oil, but that's okay. So we got a well coated ball of dough. So now I'm gonna get a heavy towel um, or some saran wrap and a dish towel, cover it up and put it in a warm draft free place. So I like to just stick it on top of my oven in a corner somewhere where it's not gonna be like super drafty and like a cool breeze um, cause it needs to be a pretty like good warm consistent temperature for it to like rise properly. Um, so I will see you back in an hour. So it's been one hour of waiting. I got a damp towel put on top and on top of that, I also put saran wrap to make sure that all of the heat that's in here really stays trapped. So the dough has risen quite a bit. Um, I definitely did put way too much olive oil in here. So learn from my mistake. But we have like a really beautiful lump of pizza dough. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to separate it into four balls. And you know what, I might even do more. Um, yeah, I'm gonna separate it into four balls so I can make four pizzas. I'm just gonna snip off a bit with my hands and then kind of tuck in the ends like this to make a nice ball. And since we didn't put a whole lot of yeast in here, um, I can't see it getting much bigger than this. I think it's just to sit so it gets nice and chewy um, the way that pizza dough should be. So I have a nice ball, I'm gonna roll it, make sure it's nice and tucked in, tuck my ends in, make sure it's all formed. So we have a nice little ball. And now I have four pizza balls. So I'm gonna use my same, same saran wrap from before because I don't like to waste. I'm gonna put it back on top. Oh, nice and tight. And I'm gonna take my cloth, nice heavy damp towel, put it on top of that. And then I'm gonna put this in a nice warm spot again and let it sit for two hours this time. Um, and while I do that, maybe at the hour and a half mark, I'm going to start prepping my topping. So I'm going to cut up my sausage, I'm going to shred my cheese, I'm going to cut up any vegetables I want on it. Um, 
For this recipe to make the snowmen, I'm going to use uh, pepperoni, cheese, pizza sauce, and pepper. Or maybe I'll use carrots for the nose. Who knows? We'll find out. But I'll see you then. So we're back. It's been two hours, which has been far too long to wait for pizza dough. Um, but it's here and it's ready. So what I'm going to do to make this into like a pizza dough shape um, is I'm going to take some flour, put it on my work surface so I can spread it out nicely um, and get the dough to like a nice work area, a nice work surface. Um, over here I have some pizza sauce. I just got like a can of pizza sauce, um, some cheese, some pepperoni cut up, just the tiny ones. Um, and I, I didn't have bell pepper, but I used carrot um, to make like little noses for the snowmen. So if you have bell pepper, that would probably work a lot better, um, but I don't. So I did what I could. Now I do have a ball or two that I think are a little bit too big. So I might even like split them in half and make even smaller pizzas. But this one seems to be a pretty good size to me. So I'm just gonna use my fingertips and like spread the dough out, make sure it's even, make sure it's like not too lumpy, make sure it's nice and thin because I don't like super thick pizza crust. I prefer my pizza crust to be a little bit more on the thin side. And you're gonna wanna make sure that all of your air bubbles are out um, just so that way when you're cooking your pizza, you don't have like a giant air bubble in the middle of the snowman's face. And it's okay if it's not a perfect circle. Um, these can be melted snowman <laughs> rather than um, like perfect circles. Um, if you don't wanna make your own pizza dough from scratch, you can definitely use, um, like I said before, English muffins, or you can use non bread, um, or even tortillas. Um, you can buy pre-made pizza dough. You gotta do whatever you have um, accessible to you at the time. So now that this is nice and as spread out as I think I can get it. Um, I'm going to put it on my baking sheet. Well, maybe I'll spread this out a little bit more actually. There. It's not beautiful, but it'll be tasty. So I have it on my baking sheet now. I'm going to put some pizza sauce. and then a mouth out of pepperoni as well. Okay. So there is my snowman pizza. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the other three balls of dough that I have. I'm gonna put some other stuff on it too. Like I'm gonna put spinach on it because I really like spinach um, and maybe even some turkey meat, but that's my snowman. Um, so to bake it, you're gonna preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, um, and you'll bake it in the oven for about 15 minutes. Um, and then check on it, make sure it doesn't get too, too crispy, make sure the cheese is nice and melty. Um, and I'll show you what mine looks like when I'm all done. So I both have good and bad news. Good news, it's delicious. Bad news, uh, the snowman looks absolutely nothing like a snowman <laughs> anymore. Uh, there was a big bubble that was created in the dough and it pushed the nose over and pushed the eyes over. Um, so our beautiful snowman is now no longer a beautiful snowman, but it's a delicious snowman. So I'll try some. I recommend that if you're willing to put the time in and make the dough yourself, it's actually pretty good. I'm a big fan. I'm probably gonna make my own pizza dough from now on too. But I'm gonna head out and go eat my pizza. But thanks for watching and make sure you stay tuned and watch our next video where we'll be making a Christmas time dessert. So I'll see you there.